Hey guys, so while we're working with that AWS data, I thought we would take a look at another data set that they have. Um, so they have Landsat 8 data on there, and Landsat 8 is a satellite, um, and it actually provides us with global coverage, uh, imagery coverage. Uh, so that's cool because that New Jersey data set we were looking at was, it was really high resolution, but it was just limited to um, New Jersey. So if we want to access more imagery, uh, let's start using this Landsat 8. And also, I'm pretty sure they're still coming out with data for Landsat like on a daily basis, uh, which is pretty cool. So you can get really up to date stuff. Um, so if we just Google AWS Open Data Registry, I'm just trying to get back to that page here. Um, and it's on this main page, just scroll down and you'll see Landsat 8. So you can see it's just like the New Jersey data set, but we have a different bucket here. Um, so actually, let's open up the documentation, and I want to kind of explain a couple things about how uh, the data is structured. So they're saying like this is an example of what a file would look like. So now they're breaking it down, like what all this means. So like this means Landsat 8, and this is the important stuff we're going to need to worry about later, is the WRS path and row. So this is basically... Um, where this image is in the world. So what we're going to do, we're going to look for a shape file that uh, is like a grid of the world and it'll, um, you know, we'll pick out where we want to try to find imagery and then we'll, it'll show us what path uh, and row we need to look for. Um, so that's one interesting thing about Landsat and the other is if you go here and open this page Each, um, I think, image, it's called a scene, uh, they have all these different files. And you see there's a lot of files that start with B, so that stands for band. So band 1, 4, 5, 9, 9. Um, what that means is if you go to this Wikipedia page and scroll down a little, so there's uh, multiple sensors on this satellite. And if we want to make um, in a true color image, we're going to need to combine... Uh, blue, green, and red. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to uh, make a script that loops through this AWS data, finds the, the type of data we're interested in, like meaning finds um, the right place in the world. So we have to get the right WRS path and row. And then we need to find the correct band numbers. So we're going to basically get a list like this, and we need to find band 2, 3, and 4. And I'm actually going to, instead of I'm streaming from S3 with VSI S3. I'm actually going to download this data um, to our local machine, and then it's called uh, in ArcGIS. It's called composite. I'm going to make a composite raster. Um, so what I have in Pro here is this exact same image, and it's a composite of three different images. So I actually downloaded this data like this. So you can see here I have these three images, band 2, 3, and 4. So I actually downloaded those images and then I ran something called composite band. So if I just get rid of this, I'll show you what I'm talking about. If you go to analysis and type composite, composite bands, now this is looking for multiple different bands. So I'm just going to give it these three bands and then I'm going to run it. I, I was trying this by giving it a path to S3 and it was either taking forever or just like hanging. I wasn't sure what it was doing so I decided let's just download these images because that'll be something I can explain how to do with Boto3 um, how we can download an image. Okay so you notice it looks a little bit different than what I just showed you before and this is because the bands are ordered uh, they're not ordered right so you can see I input band 2, 3, and 4, so it's it composites them in that order. So we really want um, band 4, 3, 2. We want to do it the opposite way. So in ArcGIS Pro, you can see how we have these bands over here. I think if you right-click, yeah, we just want to say we want red to equal not band 1. We want the red band to be displayed as band 3. Okay, so still not right so band three we want this to be two so that one's good the blue we want to be one 
So there we have a, a more true color looking image. This actually looks pretty good for a satellite. So this is a satellite, not aerial. That's cool. Um, but yeah, you, you also notice this black box. So this is like no data and um, we're currently displaying no data as black. So this is just a symbology thing. We just, we don't want to display the no data. Um, so if you right click this and go to symbology in this mask um, tab, we want to display background value as, as nothing, as zero, zero, zero. So now we have nothing being displayed. Whereas before, I guess it was being displayed as black, I guess. But yeah, so um, that's what we're going to do in this the uh, next couple of videos. Uh, I'm kind of just going to Frankenstein the code that I had before <laughs> for the New Jersey data set because a lot of the steps we're doing are similar. So we're connecting to a bucket. You know, we just need to change the bucket name uh, and some of the prefixes and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so if you're interested, keep watching.